Genesis launched its first SUV in 2021, the GV80, which is what we see here, it put the luxury car establishment on notice. It looks amazing, it has a fantastic interior, really high feature count, and it came in thousands of dollars less than the competition. And we, the pundits, well, we just loved it. We were all over it. But is the GV80 perfect? Well, not quite. And I'm gonna crawl all over this 2024 top tier prestige to find a few nits to pick. Well, you certainly can't fault the GV80's looks. It comes at you with a massive Genesis signature grille and bisected headlights. And from there, the body flows in a stately and graceful manner to the split taillights. With this fine detailing and writing on these rather massive 22 inch chrome alloys proves that yes, in fact, an SUV can be a runway model. Genesis has certainly found its design signature here. While the base model GV80 runs with a 300 horsepower 2.5 liter turbo four, the upper trim levels get this 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that makes 375 horsepower and 395 foot-pounds of torque. Paired with an in-house eight-speed auto, this is a flawlessly smooth drivetrain and it will hustle the ute to 100 kilometers in a tick under six seconds. Ah, to the interior. This prestigious cabin is understated elegance defined. There's a calming softness here, supported with choice materials and an obsession to fit, finish, and detail. From its retro-modern two-spoke steering wheel to the finely stitched leather to the lovely knurled satin metal trim, it's a visual and tactile delight. The quilted Napa trimmed 16-way seats are suitably plush and here fitted with ventilation and massage. And the back folks get massage as well. While the Euro Lux marks are currently on a techno rampage to out gimmick each other, Genesis largely avoids this sideshow, for now anyway. The hallmark of Genesis has been its user-friendly ergonomics. The haptic control panel for HVAC sports two large dials for temperature control, and the round touch trackpad on the console gives logical access to infotainment. There's an array of well-marked buttons, along with metal rollers on the console for audio volume and tuning. The 14.5 inch touchscreen is uber crisp, as is the 3D digital gauge cluster. Genesis throws the whole boatload of luxury kit at this prestige. Soft closed doors, power operated rear sunshades, second row seat ventilation, electronic slip differential, remote park assist, and a fabulous 21 speaker lexicon audio system that this musician gives a big two thumbs up. The only available option is a tight third row that costs about $2,000. Well, you'll never feel short change in this vehicle. The interior is absolutely fantastic and it looks really, really expensive. And especially this one, it has these two beautiful hues of leather. One is a kind of a chocolate brown and the other one is a very soft, uh, mossy green. And when you first get in the car, you think, oh, it's black, but then these things just kind of appear and you go, wow, this attention to detail is fantastic. And, you know, probably most importantly is that Genesis is not trying to emulate the Germans or Volvo here. They're, um, it's, it's their own thing. Um, you know, you might say it's a bit Bentley-esque, but nothing wrong with that. But I do have a couple of nits to pick. One is small, one's a little bit bigger. The first one uh, is about the rotary shift controller, which is fine. I think they're, they're great. Um, but the problem is that this one is very close to the rotary controller for the infotainment and they're both about the same size and they kind of look the same so when you're not really paying attention you can be grabbing at the wrong one um, but that said you know I've had this vehicle for a week and I'm starting to get used to it so I think if you owned it you'd be okay with that and the other nit that I need to pick here is the ride quality now this is a beautifully sumptuous luxurious SUV and it deserves to have an equally sumptuous ride. But on these 22 inch wheels, which admittedly look fantastic, it just never seems to really settle down. They clump over most road imperfections and there's a bit of tossing, a bit of, you know, jostling that um, it just isn't quite, isn't quite there in my opinion. And, uh, well, you hear that. But, uh, you know, with a car like this, how often do you want to attack your favorite back road? For me, never. But with a luxurious SUV, how often do you want to feel comfortable? Well, I'd say all the time. 
this car is just so good. Everything about it is fantastic that I think it deserves to have a, just a bit better ride quality. So there's my rant done. But I can't say enough about the Lexicon sound system in this car. Now Genesis hooked up with Lexicon quite a few years ago and that company is, is very well known for building studio equipment like digital delays, reverbs, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this 21, this 21 speaker system is, is very good. Super clean, super powerful and very accurate. So a little, uh, uh, you know, self-promotion here. I'm going to whip up some Wolfen Boys on this fantastic system. So, to the pricing. The 2024 Genesis GV80 starts at $76,000 for the very well-equipped four-cylinder. Now this is the top tier prestige and it comes in at $90,500, which in the grand scheme of things is an absolute bargain. Now, should Mercedes, BMW and Audi be squirming in their later hosen? Well, maybe not quite yet, but Genesis is playing the long game here. And as long as they keep building cars that are this good, I think eventually they will break through that glass ceiling and become an established luxury player. For Driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney.